Hi, this is Chef Remy. Let me show you how to make buttercream frosting for your cakes and your cupcakes. This is one of many variations. Now you'll need a stick of butter. You'll also need one cup of powdered sugar and two tablespoons of milk and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, this is the milk. You could substitute it with lemon or orange or just cut it half and half. This is vanilla extract ready to go and you can also substitute for almond extract. Now the powdered sugar we're going to need a cup and we'll want to sift it but later in the video I'm going to show you how to make your own so you won't have to buy it anymore. Now here we have we have a sifter and you definitely want to sift it and the reason why because otherwise you'll get some lumps see you pour it in a bowl and get it ready to go into a smaller cup like so after you sift it okay moving on I like to cut my butter like this it softens up sooner also I always keep it like this in the refrigerator because that way I have measured patties we put that in a bowl and then into a cup, get it ready to go, make sure it's nice and softened, not melted at all. Now, here's how to make powdered sugar. In this case, we're using a coffee mill. You could see my video on my website, and there I use a blender and also a food processor. But here we go. We're going to fill it up with one cup this is a measurement of one cup that's the top of the coffee mill we have it upside down because it's a little easier to get it in there and close it all the way just turn the mill upside down make sure it's disconnected so it doesn't start up on you okay just flip it over and you're ready to go push it down all the way and press the button and you only need about one minute now, now you can see how it's getting along and you can tell by the powder that's forming and really it only takes about one minute if you do it a couple of times you'll know how long it takes but it, it's just under a minute actually okay now we're gonna go ahead and put that into a bowl and let me show you how powdery it is you just won't be buying it anymore it's so easy to make there you go see your own powdered sugar and that's one cup so if you want to make bigger volumes of it then go to a blender or a, uh, a food processor and you can make bigger quantities of it which is plain sugar that's all it is plain sugar let's get that into a bowl ready to go and let's mix these two guys together and we're ready to start making the frosting we'll put in our butter that's been softened and not all of the sugar just some maybe a third of the sugar otherwise you'll wind up with a dust storm here just get her started we're not looking to do anything but just kind of mix it a little bit and then put some more sugar in there like so and then another mix and then after that go ahead and put the liquids in and look at my videos uh, on the web at thevideocook.com and you'll, you'll see how to make other variations because you could be putting some lemon rind or orange rind in here as well lemon juice lime juice you could put coffee in here also essence of coffee that is or espresso coffee is you know nice strong coffee to give it a good coffee flavor there's so many flavorings that are possible once you have this basic method that I'm showing you here. And there are other methods. The other methods might make it fluffier. For example, you'll see some methods where you cook some flour and milk together, like so. Okay, now here we're almost done with the buttercream now. You just keep going until it's nice and smooth and there's no graininess about it, and you'll be done. 
you could be adding more sugar if you wanted a, a little bit bigger volume up to a certain point. And we're going to go ahead and put it into this bowl and cover it. And it'll keep for several weeks in the refrigerator. So this is just plain with no coloring and no other substitutes in it or other flavorings, just plain vanilla. And there you have it. Buttercream frosting. Do it yourself. Thanks for watching. This is Chef Remy. And if you get a chance, go ahead on over to my website and look at all these other videos. I have dozens and dozens of videos of all kinds of food. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.